kill. They don't love us, they just love it. How we live, how we live, how we live, how we live. They don't love us. They and get ready, everyone. All star action is coming your way. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. <laughs> this place is gonna go crazy. Tonight we present the Foot Locker three point contest. The pressure is on. The drama is fierce, and the pace is fast. Hold on tight, everybody. Well, right next to me, I've got somebody who knows a thing or two about winning this event. So tell us what it takes to do just that, Steve. Well, I did win the event once, Clark, in 97, and it really is a matter of finding a, a rhythm. The game comes so fast, the, you know, the, the shots are coming one after the other. You've got to get into a groove, get into a rhythm, and then just let it ride. So it's Clay Thompson ready to start here. Remember now, 60 seconds, five racks, five balls in each rack, four one-point balls, and then the favorite, the two-point money ball. Well, if my math is right, you've got five racks, you've got five. six points on each rack. That gives you an opportunity for a total to max out at 30 points. Good. Carry the good. one. Right, right, right on. Yeah, yeah. Carry the one, slide that over. Yep, that's right. 30. Right. Two of two on the money ball. And the young fella, Clay, making it look very easy out here. 12 for him. Nearly perfect there. Just one miss on the rack. Now to 15. At 16. 17 on the board. Looking very good now, locked in. And it's 20. The round comes to a close, and he's at 22 points. His stroke looked terrific in that round, guys. And you'd really have to say no surprise to see a shooter of his caliber have that kind of success. And so it'll be Stephen Curry. Your memory has to be very short in this format, like less than a second. You have to put every miss right behind you. Forget about it. Yeah, because one miss can easily turn into two and then three. And then you start racing because you're worried about the clock. And before you know it, you know, you're pretty much out of it. Curry really catching fire now. He's in his own. Gets the money ball. Now eight points. Now nine points. That makes it four straight for him. Now with 11. Go for 13. Is it 14? Yeah, this is how you do it. Hang on tight. That's nine in a row. 11 straight. He's raining them down. 12 in a row. What more can you say? One after another after another. How in the world is he doing it? He posts a big number. 24 points. Wow, that was something else, guys. We don't see too many performances like that. Uh, no, I mean, his streak of made buckets went what, well into double digits. I'm not sure the exact number, but, man, he was on fire. Here we go with Damian Lillard. You know, the importance of getting into a rhythm early can't be understated. I mean, it's not a make-one-miss-one kind of deal. You need to get on a roll. Yeah, that's correct, Clark. I mean, there's going to be ebbs and flows during the contest, but I think the winner will always string together at least one run where he makes five or six in a row, preferably with a couple of money balls involved there as well. He's getting a roll going now. He's got nine. Cool, he knocks down his fifth straight. That's it. Not just 13. Just two points there. He won't be happy with that. No good with his fourth in a row. He's at 14. 16 points is his score for the round. I'd say a solid showing from him. Boy, he put that third rack to bed in a hurry, didn't he? Just about the fastest six points you'll see in the shootout. So it's James Harden ready to go. When Harden came into the league, people were unsure if he'd be able to shoot with range in the NBA. He started out a little slow, but he's become quite the score and sharpshooter. And a lot of people thought that would be the case. It was just a matter of when. If he can crack 16, he'll stay in contention. And he knows he can get this well within his abilities. Seven points more to stay alive. He's got 10. Ooh, Harden starting to feel it. Four more points to stay alive. That's his fifth consecutive make. Honey ball, no good. 
Three more points to stay in contention. Make that 14. Up to 15 now. Last rack. He needs just one. No good with his fourth in a row. That's 16. Now in third. So he's got 19 points. He was really enjoying himself out there that time. <laughs> Yeah, it was a terrific start. He was feeling it from the get-go. So it'll be Isaiah Thomas here. With this rapid-fire format, a trap guys cannot fall into is trying to make any sort of adjustment midstream. There's just not enough time for that. You've got to trust your stroke from start to finish. Yeah, but Clark, if you do miss three or four in a row, it, it may take a very subtle adjustment, maybe just adding a little arc to the ball or maybe holding your follow-through a split second longer. It really all depends on what kind of roll you're on and if you have any momentum or not. Seven more points to stay in contention. Here for 13. Make that 14. Ooh, starting to get a rhythm here. Feeling it. One more to stay alive. That shot ties him for third. That gets him into the third hole and books him a place in the final. And that puts him in a second place tie now. Second place. He finishes with 25. What, what an unbelievable round. Right away you could tell it was, it was going to be special. Well, the key was he was consistent. Kevin, he didn't really get too hot, but he never got cold. And that's uh, that's important. You've just got to continue to shoot through the ups and downs. So it'll be P. It can be a big advantage going last. He knows the score he needs to beat in order to qualify. 22 points. That's the number he's looking to advance with. He'll need to be at his very best to top that score, guys. He's got five, six. Well, he's got to step up, or he's in big trouble. Seven points. Now eight points. He needs to finish strong. And with that, he's not going to advance. Couldn't get enough through in the first few racks. Yeah, you've got to develop a rhythm, and he just couldn't get anything. And he's got 15 points when the round ends. Thomas got the honors of being able to go into the finals as the top scorer from the qualifying round.